Hi, thank you for clicking this video. My name is Nichelle, and this is a time lapse of a drawing I did back in March of this year. Now, have you ever had a moment where you remembered about something that you absolutely loved as a kid, but you forgot about as you got older? Well, that's what happened to me recently when my sister shared a throwback post about a Canadian children's television show called Polka Dot Shorts. Seeing that throwback post made me relive so many happy memories of us watching it as children and singing the theme song around our home. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the show, it ran from the 1990s to the early 2000s in Canada and was centered around education and creativity. The main characters of the show were Pokeroo, a mythical kangaroo, Bear, a teddy bear, Marigold, a rag doll, Humpty and Dumpty, two egg plushies, and Bibble, a pet that kind of just looked like a pom-pom. Each episode would focus on a different story and the characters would act them out. Remembering how happy this show made me as a child made me want to draw them, but instead of drawing them as their original characters, I thought it would be fun to draw them as humans. And I also wanted to have this piece represent Canada's multiculturalism, so I tried to make all of the characters different ethnicities based on their original characters. As you can tell through this video, I spend a lot of time in the line work phase, but I spent a lot of time particularly in this one, because up until about a year ago, I only really drew single characters and absolutely no backgrounds. So this piece having six characters and a full background was a huge learning curve for me. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right. For this piece in particular, I spent a lot of time going back and forth on the line work with other people to make sure that how I was portraying the characters as humans was accurate to the original characters. So there was a bit of finessing with the line work before I got to the rendering phase. When I'm done in the line art phase, I always put flat colors down first to set my color palette and then make sure that all of the colors are cohesive together. I then go back and I add shadows and when I'm done with the shadows, I finally add highlights. When I'm done rendering the piece completely, I will sometimes play with the hues and maybe use the liquify tool to make adjustments to my work to finish it off.
And that's the general process I went through for this piece. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound super awkward or for my broken speech because this is my first time doing commentary over a video ever. <laughs> so please let me know in the comments if you think it adds to the quality of video or if you enjoyed hearing me explain my process or if I should just stop talking and just let the video do the work. <laughs> But thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to make sure you can see my future videos. Bye!